In this video, I wanted to talk about life before zone drops. That is before zone drops were put into the game, the basic concept for a lot of offenses and also the basic concept for a lot of defenses. And we're gonna get to zone drops a little bit in this video. We're gonna talk about kind of how zone drops have shifted things defensively, but we're also going to show you in this video, again, the idea of double flatting pre zone drops. This was back in Madden 20, Madden 19. These were popular things that people would do to defend certain types of route combinations. And we're gonna show you one of those um, in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day. If you want to stay up to date with everything that's happening in our community, I would encourage you to join my Discord. It's completely free to sign up for that. There's a link in the description below. Also, every week in the Discord, we put out um, free content that you don't publicly see here on the YouTube channel. So if you want to get access to that, we've got a bunch of kind of mini eBooks over there that you can get access to just by joining the Discord. Um, so let's talk today about the trips tight end formation and we're gonna be focusing in um, on a universal concept So you don't have to necessarily have um, a specific play um, I'm gonna be utilizing PA counter go for the majority of what we're gonna be talking about today But again you again if you want to use verticals you can um, Because it has that corner route if you want to use X spot you can if you want to use PA counter go you can So it's up to you whatever play you want to this is kind of a hot route based uh, tip now I really advise people that if you're going to be running trips tight end, I think tight end apprentice is very important, or at least outside apprentice. And so, in my, if you put an outside apprentice and a tight end apprentice on a field, that's typically two AP at least. And so, I like to just use hot route master because that is also two AP. So, uh, we like to use hot route master for trips tight end. And that being said, I want to jump into the concept. So the biggest thing that you would see a lot before zone drops were a thing. So like if I was just in this basic, um, let's just say I was in this basic cover three defense, okay? What you're going to see is a lot of the high low. What I mean by high low is a corner route paired with a wheel route, okay? Something like this. And then on the back side, we would maybe do a high low with a curl route and a flat. So it could look very similar to what you see on the screen. And we're just gonna look to the right, and if they back up, we're gonna throw the wheel, and we're gonna get about eight yards. If they play hard flats, and I'll show you what that looks like, then we're going to hit our corner. So you see they're gonna take the flat, and that's gonna leave this corner open to the sideline. A Little bit of a poor pass lead there, but you kind of get the idea, okay? Now, in Madden 22, um, we've got these zone drops, right? They started last year. Now, what a lot of people would do is they would actually put a concept on the field um, that would essentially take this away called double flatting. So they would take this hook girl defender and they would put him into a hard flat. And basically what that would do is now you have a defender that will guard the running back and you have a defender that will guard the tight end. So you see the running backs guarded and the tight ends guarded and the defense has now been able to handle that basic concept. Then the offense comes back and counters this with basically this idea of essentially attacking the middle of the field. So I'll give you an example. Um, the best example that I can think of right off the top of my head is a double flat, uh, like a wheel and a flat concept, something very simple or just a simple streak. This right here is the main counter because now the seams are wide open. Now, ironically, that very much still applies to the double Mabel defense that we find in most of Madden today, right? A lot of people run this double Mabel setup, which is basically they're going to have these deeper zones and then they're gonna have these underneath zones and then they're gonna rely on their user to cover the, the left, basically the entire middle of the field. And so the way that you attack this is really not any different, but the major difference, and I'll show you it real quick, and why zone drops are very valuable is because this crosser, even a cloud flat, wouldn't really defend it. And so this is really the main reason, I made a terrible user catch here, but this is the main reason why zone drops, to me, have a significant amount of value. So insert into 2022 and we have zone drops on our defense. So we're able to put these flats wherever we want them. We're able to put these curl flats wherever we want them up to 30 yards. And we're able to put these hook curls wherever we want them. This is the most popular way people are playing defense in Madden 22. It's the most popular way that people uh, were playing defense in Madden 21. As soon as these were into the game, people understood very quickly that what was so good about this was they could take this defender and they could put him in a, a flat, and then this would allow that defender to be able to guard a, a deep crosser. 
So I'll show you in another, uh, I'll show you right here. So you'll see Chris Godwin on this deep crosser, what did get over before zone drops, now zone drops are able to defend it. But the same principle still essentially applies, right? We have a high low on the, le on the right side of the field. But the problem is where a lot of offenses I think have gotten lazy is they really don't have anything in their offense that is going to attack the middle of the field. They basically revolve around these deep crossers or deep posts that are going to get over 30 yard clouds. And that's basically it. I mean, it really is. So what I want to spend just a few minutes with you today is a, is a concept that I call um, a triangle concept. Now, I don't know if this is exactly a triangle concept in real NFL. There are certain things. I'll give you an example of one. X spot is a really good example of something like a tr that's a triangle read. We're making a, a triangle read because we're high lowing and we're having something in the middle of the field. So you'll see it looks kind of like this right here. And then based on what the zones do, I could throw the hitch or I could throw the flat. But what I'm talking about is a, is a little bit more, I think, of an expanded version of this. And it's really to do to deal with this double flat because what we're going to essentially do with this is we're going to put the user in a position where he can't be right. We're going to force him to have to use a route that is in the middle of the seams here and also something that's in the middle of the seams over here. Now, the way that you do this effectively, in my opinion, is you flood the uh, the zones to one side of the field. And the best way that I know how to do that is we're gonna take Scotty Miller, put him on a flat. What that's gonna do is it's gonna pull out all of the zones. All the flat zones are all gonna go to the sideline. And then we're gonna put Godwin on a hitch. Now, if they have a yellow zone, the yellow zone will guard the hitch. And so we're kind of in a dilemma, right? Because again, if you look at it to the wide side of the field here, we have the ability to put one, two, three, four, and potentially our user being five zones on that side of the field, right? So pretty decent coverage. But what we can do offensively is we can put our tight end on a post or an in, a smart routed in or a post, it's up to you. And now what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna be able to beat any coverage in the game. And so you'll see right here, if there's no yellow, we're just gonna throw our stick route right there, a little hitch for an easy you know, 10 to 15 yards. But let's say for example, that they're not doing the double flat, okay? So they're gonna put this yellow zone here to guard that. And then they're gonna have this defender, Sullivan, um, to guard the, the slot receiver flat route. Now we're in a, an interesting predicament, right? Because now what we have to do offensively is say, oh, they've got some really good underneath coverage. We need to hit our tight end that's open right there. And what this forces the defense to do is it forces them to kind of get into essentially a user game. And so if they use the tight end, we've got to have an answer. And this is where Madden, I think, um, an oldie but a goodie concept, I think from Madden like 18, 17 time, this was such a good route. Um, it's even better, it, it was even better before, but what you can easily do is just playmaker this hitch through the zone. So as you can see right there, I just, all I did was I um, flicked my right joystick once the tight end had cleared out, once the user had kind of given away that he's gonna run with the tight end. Then what I was able to do, now the whole middle of the field is open, even with these two yellow zones. So I can just playmaker, and I, I did it just a little bit too early there, but I can just playmaker this guy open essentially. So now what the defense has to do, and this is where um, I think this becomes very valuable, is now what the defense has to do from their, from their cover three, even if they have a guy here to defend, what they need to do is they basically need to have this back zone for the tight end post. They have to have this zone for the flat. Now their user is going to be in a battle right here. Is he going to be able to defend the hitch? Um, and basically what you're going to see a lot of is they're going to have to, by very nature of the routes we have on the field, they're going to have to become a cover two based defense, which essentially means they're going to need this vertical hook here so that they can guard it. So again, let me just give you the, the piece here. You see that? Now, what we can do is a little adjustment on the coverage because we know that they have to become a cover two defense. Um, they have to cover two Mabel on both sides. This defender cannot, I mean, he's in a real tough position because he has to go with the tight end. If he doesn't, and I'll show you why. So if he doesn't go with the tight end, because the zones are so cleared out and there's so much space 
from Trips Tied In, what you'll see is this tight end pose. If he doesn't follow him the entire way, I could throw that before he gets to that cloud. So they have to go with the tight end post to be able to even have a prayer at stopping the tight end post, right? So now what I'm going to be able to do offensively against this, again, very popular, very, very popular defense, and this is basically what you force them into. Now what I can do offensively is I still have the ability to playmaker this hitch against the yellow zone. So you see, I just playmaker it through the middle of the field. So we've, what we've done is we've basically cleared out the outside lanes and we've opened up the middle of the field. Now let's just say they play absolute, and I mean absolutely perfect defense from their cover two. I'm gonna show you one last adjustment that I like to do with this concept when my opponent starts to run more of a cover two uh, defense. So again, they have to go with the tight end, right? And this is gonna require like very good user skill for them to be able to cover everything here, okay? But all we're gonna do differently, because we forced them into a cover two, we're gonna post, um, we're gonna post Mike Evans. And now what you'll see here is the cover two will be split right up the seam. As you can see right there, splits it right up the seam. And that's an easy big play dot for your cover two defense. So now, again, you just kind of keep playing this little cat and mouse game, but now they just can't, they just can't handle everything you're gonna throw at them from this one route combination. And the cool part about trip side in is we can do this from a lot of different concepts. We can do this from a lot of different combinations and a lot of different route combinations. Um, you know, if they put two yellow zones on the field, so let's say they did something like this, and then they said, you know, we're just gonna go use the tight end post. Again, it's the same as like we talked about before. This hitch is so good because you could just playmaker it through the zone. So just playmaker to the right, pass lead it up, you know, secure catch it. If you, you know, if they're in a position where, and again, obviously this is a drop eight coverage by the way too. So let's say they blitz you. If they blitz you, it's a lot easier because you're gonna pick up the pressure and then, you know, you just throw a little hitch or throw a little tight end routes wide open. So this concept really opens up a lot for your offense. It makes it super simple for you to beat every major coverage. And this is a wide side concept that is really effective for a lot of the way that people like to play this year. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about my trips tight end offense, everything is available in my Patreon membership. My Patreon membership is only 10 bucks and it gets you access to all of my Madden 22 eBooks. We also do exclusive weekly pro tips and meta updates, kind of walk through kind of how the game is, you know, shifting week by week. And then lastly, it also gets you access um, just to be able to get your questions answered, anything you need help with. You can always hit me up in the Patreon. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the membership, the link is available in the description.